The Karate Kid movie series sequel, Cobra Kai, has been a pretty big hit with fans and critics alike across its four-season run so far. But some fans have noticed a particularly odd detail about one of the show's newer characters, a detail which hasn't sat right with fans of the hit show. Today, we are discussing the odd thing about Carmen from Cobra Kai that bothers some fans. Stay with us. First up, let's have a quick recap of the season four finale. The episode starts off with Miguel uncertain of his competitive future, with Johnny and encouraging him to keep it up. Johnny then has a run-in with Kreese, who is confident of Cobra Kai's future, so Johnny again attempts to get Miguel to compete, but he won't, so Eli advances. Meanwhile, Robbie finds Kenny beating Anthony up in the locker room, before Eli wins a sudden death matchup for Miyagi-Do against Robbie. Elsewhere, Samantha and Tori go head-to-head, -head, with Tori and Cobra Kai coming out on top. Terry then announces he is franchising the gym. Of course, Samantha is upset, but Daniel does his best to comfort her. Johnny also feels bad about about Miguel leaving, but Carmen comforts him, suggesting he just needs time. At the Cobra Kai Dojo, Robbie turns up and tells Johnny they're moving to a bigger gym and also opening more locations. The pair have a bit of a heart-to-heart -heart before Johnny goes to see Carmen and realizes Robbie is gone for good, having headed off to Mexico City in search of his father. But we then learn from Carmen that his father has no idea of his existence, so Johnny promises to find him. Towards the end, Tori overhears Terry and the referee talking about a deal they made whilst Kreese is in trouble with the police after Terry persuades Ray to pin the beating on him. We then see Daniel at Miyagi's grave and Chosen agreeing to help him. So what about this odd thing about Carmen? Stay tuned to hear all about it. One of the best newcomers to the show is Zola Mariduena, who of course plays the character Miguel Diaz, a Johnny Lawrence protege and martial arts prodigy. Also introduced over the course of the show is Miguel's mom, Carmen, who has caused some controversy amongst the show's diehard fanbase. One of the biggest storylines in the show Show involved Carmen's boyfriend, Johnny, and his son, Robbie, who seriously injured Miguel at the end of season two, breaking his back after kicking him off a balcony. So why hasn't Carmen addressed this with Johnny? You would think she would at least confront him about his son injuring her son so severely, right? I mean, she appears to have just carried on dating Johnny as if nothing has happened, which fans have quite rightly called her out for. With season five on the horizon, the show's creators will surely have to address the situation sooner rather than later. I mean, surely Johnny feels a little bit of guilt? What Robbie did must be part of the reason he has gone to Mexico to bring back Miguel. Once Carmen talks to Johnny about what happened, I mean, Miguel could have died. Then what will that mean for her relationship with Johnny? Is this the reason she hasn't broached the subject yet? Because she's happy with how things are with Johnny? Possibly. But you would think Miguel was her priority, right? What do you guys make of Carmen appearing to bury her head in the sand? When can we expect to see season five then? Let's see. Get your metaphorical gi ready because season five will be back on our screen before you know it. With the fourth season only dropping at the end of December last year, fans will be delighted to learn that they will have only been waiting just eight months or so with the announcement that Cobra Kai Season 5 will be with us on September 9th, 2022. This is a pretty significant change-up to the release schedule, as the last couple of seasons have both dropped around New Year. However, this news means we will be getting the fifth season almost four months before we have been used to over the past couple of years, something we're absolutely here for. Are you guys excited for for season five? Let us know what you expect to happen when it drops. So what can we expect from the storyline? Stay with us to find out. Well, we saw Terry double cross Kreese at the end of season four, with him arrested for the attack on Stingray. This effectively ends his involvement in the expansion, so we can probably expect to see more of Silver and his devious ways. Miyagi-Do is no longer functioning, and the trailer also shows Cobra Kai expanding across the State Valley, which probably means more karate kids willing to do whatever Silver says. But we're pretty sure Tori will have something to say about how season 5 plays out. As you will remember, she overheard Silver's plot with the referee. We will also learn more about Johnny's mission to Mexico to bring back Miguel. But by far, the most intriguing storyline will be that of Chosen, from Karate Kid 2, who appears at the end of season 4, promising to help Daniel. Chosen embodies an era when it was more about life and death something which we appear to be moving back towards since we can probably expect season five to open up pretty aggressively. But who will come out on top? Can Daniel regain a foothold given Silver's newfound dominance? We will have to wait and see. What do you guys think? Next up, Stingray actor Paul Walter Hauser has been speaking of his character in season five. Stay tuned. It appears as though Stingray could have a pretty big role in season five if that ending is anything to go by. Of course, he is central to the reason why Kreese ends up in prison, but that doesn't 
necessarily mean he will appear in more episodes once the next installment drops. Or does it? Hauser was asked how many episodes he would be appearing in throughout season 5, but he was keeping his cards pretty close to his chest, saying, I will just say Stingray might be done with the past, but the past is not done with Stingray, which doesn't exactly give much away. However, there are other characters whose past could have a pretty profound effect on season 5 with the return of Chosen, and co-creator Hayden Schlossberg had this to say about the character's revival. When Daniel went to Okinawa in Cobra Kai season 3, we saw that Chosen had lived this life of shame, coming off the events of Karate Kid 2, and that Daniel coming to Okinawa gave him an opportunity to redeem himself in his eyes. And we always felt that he showed him a couple moves, but he's always going to feel that responsibility to help Daniel. How do you guys see this impacting season 5? William Zabka and Ralph Macchio have been speaking of the long journey to season 5 now. Zabka and Macchio's characters are, of course, a massive part of Cobra Kai, and the pair have recently been discussing the fifth season and the series as a whole. They both serve as executive producers on Cobra Kai, but they have suggested that they didn't see the Karate Kid universe expanding this far. Zabka said recently, when you're 18 years old, you can't even imagine how much time that is. So, to be here with season 5 about to come out is incredible. Zabka has also been talking about the addition of Thomas Ian Griffiths to the cast for season 4, calling his portrayal of Terry Silver amazing. Macchio has given his thoughts on his character and how he is the only one who sees Silver for what he is, saying, when you're the only one who sees something, you come up looking like the crazy person. So there's a little bit of Daniel trying to make everyone understand how diabolical this guy is. Do you guys think Silver will get his comeuppance in season 5? And finally, Hayden Schlossberg has been explaining how the story continues. Stay with us. As as we mentioned, Schlossberg serves as a co-creator for the show, and he has recently told of how the series will continue to honor the Karate Kid, explaining that whilst there are a lot of new storylines, they are going to respect what has come before. He said, It's fun. You expand the universe, you have new characters, and with new characters, a new perspective, new backgrounds, and so that brings the modern element to it. But we start out with, hey, remember the roots. And of course, that's great. He also spoke of how a TV show format allows for a deeper look at characters, but the roots of the show are still the same as the original movies. What have you guys made of the series on the whole so far? Give us your thoughts below. As always, thanks for stopping by today and remember to tune in again next time when we will be discussing all sorts of cool bits and pieces. And why not do us a solid by liking and sharing today's video whilst also subscribing to our channel so not to miss out on more great content in the future. Bye guys!